good morning friends and welcome to this a moment of the word of god and uh, worship we thank god for you we thank god for you are coming and joining us thank you for supporting us thank you for standing with us and thank you for spreading this gospel across even as we invite your friends to share like and subscribe to this when the god is faithful when we do this we are spreading the gospel together because it is the great commission i want us to pray this morning as we want to start our father in the name of jesus we thank you for your goodness thank you everlasting god because of this new week thank you father for your blessings that are going to flow through this week oh god thank you for your servants thank you for the beloved oh god who are joining us oh father may your blessings and make it that as no sorrow be upon them father as we share your working of glory we pray that the holy spirit shall be able to help us interpret and give us a great revelation for this one in jesus name we pray amen 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 it's a blessed day and we thank god for this day want us to Worship God with this number as we just get into the word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are faithful, Lord. Never knew I mean if you born. Peace of mind. 
when we are able to be still and know that God is able to do everything, we have peace of mind. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 16, verses 7, When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. We're talking about the peace of God. When, uh, the, the, when you're able to walk in the ways of God, the peace of God comes to you. The Bible says this, as the peace of God comes to you, He makes you even be at peace with your enemies. There are so many fights going around in the world and in the nations today because people have no peace. They are men who have almost everything, but they lack peace of mind. They lack the peace of God. Why? Because they are troubled with the issues of life. They are troubled with what is going to happen tomorrow. They are troubled with what is happening today. But God is speaking to us and says, if you are able to follow me, you are able to withstand all those challenges and able to have my peace come unto you. Praise the name of Jesus. Isaiah 26 verse 3, the Bible says this. Isaiah 26 3. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you, not as the world gives. Do I give to you? Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. The peace of God I live unto you. God gave us his peace. And this peace is what guards us every day. It guards our hearts. It guards our minds. It guards our families. Many are the times people are peaceless. Many are the times people are going through so many things. There is a lot of, you know, chasing of items and things. And you know, you know, all kind of things that we're supposed to get. It is good. But do not do this at the expense of your peace. And God is saying, in all these things, let my peace be with you. Because when God's peace is with you, you will not look at troubles as anything. You won't let challenges overwhelm you. God is saying, not as the one gives peace. There is the peace that comes with, uh, with, with, with wealth. There is peace that comes with, uh, you know, money. But the Bible says, not that kind of peace. But I'm talking about the peace of God. The peace of God is the peace where, even if you have no money, you feel that you are still running through the things of God. You are still walking the ways of God. You are not peace, peaceless because you don't have anything. But you are still at peace knowing that your provider will still provide for you. The peace of God that surpasses all human understanding. John 16 and verses 33. The Bible says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. These things have I spoken to you, that in this world you will have tribulations. The peace of God will help you to navigate through the tribulations, through the many challenges, sickness, you know, inconsistency in life, money problems, money issues. But God is saying, through all these things, my peace will run with you. My peace will carry you through all this. Through the challenge that you are going through, the peace of God shall carry you through. Through the times that are hard and maybe through those times that you are feeling like, I am going to give up. The peace of God shall carry you through. There are people going through depression, stress of life. People are going through hard times. Today I have come to declare to you, may the peace of God come unto you. May the peace of God, you know, locate you this morning. May the peace of God stand with you. It does not matter what is troubling you, but the Bible says, that my peace you have it, and therefore I give unto you. Let the peace of God guide you this morning, my beloved friends. Let the peace of God, you know, overwhelm you in your heart, in your mind. It is a job issue. Is it a, a health issue? It is a money and financial issues. God's peace and we carry you through all these things. Numbers 6, 26. The Bible says, The Lord will lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. He will lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. God shall give you peace. Friends, it is time for us to understand that God is the one who is able to give us everything we require. Is it the thing that you are requiring from God? This morning he's saying, let my peace be unto you. When you have my peace, all these things you shall have them. But every, in every step you do, at that place of work, let the peace of God come unto you. You can't live this life under depression. You can't live this life under stress. 
There are people walking on the road speaking to themselves because they have no peace. There are people who are troubled in their business. They have no peace. There are people who are troubled in sickness. They are in hospitals every day. They have no peace. Today I declare in the name of Jesus. May you find the peace of God. May the peace of God come upon you. Whatever thing you're going through, my daughter, my son, and the children of beloved friends, you, God, has a plan for you. God says, I will uphold you with my right hand. He will stand with you and walk with you in everything you're going through because he is God. He knows what you are going through, but he says, my peace I give unto you. Find the peace of God this morning and the Lord will be able to guard you from everything and your hearts shall be able to be still knowing that God is going to make you understand that he is our father. Peace of God. That's what we require this time. May the peace of God be with you as one to pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you present glory. We honor you, King of Glory, because you are ever faithful. Inajua shida zako mimi nitazitatua Biwa Yesu mimi ni mtu Halingia roho ni mwangu kanipa kutulia Kaniambia ewe mwanangu usilie nie tena Inajua shida zako mimi nitazitatua mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you for the peace that you are helping us and guard us today. The world is full of peaceful, peaceless men. The world is full of men going through anguish, stress, depression. But today we come unto thee with the peace of God. The Bible has spoken to us about the peace of God. That in this world I have left you my peace. Through the tribulations and the challenges, you have my peace. Through the sickness and any challenge you're going through, you have my peace. This day we pray that, Lord, every man and a woman going through many things of life today, I pray in the name of Jesus, take away the burdens, take away the stress, take away the depression, oh God. Help them, King of glory, clear their paths, make them right again. Whatever thing they are battling, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray now, King of glory, may you take away that burden, take away that peaceless mind, take away that challenge, King of glory. May they find peace now. May your peace be upon them. May your love be upon them. I pray the King of glory, we shall not have challenges anymore. We come against the stress and depression of lives, oh God, that are have engulfed many people today in the name of Jesus. May they find peace. May they find peace. Holy Spirit, locate everybody who is watching and they are going through many things of life. Today I speak unto them that the peace of God shall be upon them in the name of Jesus. May your peace take that right now, oh God. I pray that my Father, your deposit of peace of God shall be upon them. Holy Spirit, now be able to carry them again. Let them arise and shine because you are our Father. And now may you find peace in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for we have received from you that you've been asked today. We give you honor and praise in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. May you have peace of the Lord even as you go through your duties. In Jesus' name, amen.